Hello everyone. Today we'll take a look at the best gimbals in the market for 2021. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these gimbals, you can check out the links in the description below. Before we start, I have a question for you guys. Which gimbal are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Xeon Smooth 4 Best Smartphone Gimbal Under $100 A revelation to handheld stabilization for the mobile enthusiast, the Xeon 4 grants expert tracking focus and a powerhouse battery life. With lovable features and a sexy design, we can't help but fall in love with one of the best mobile gimbals on the market in 2021. The Xeon Smooth 4 is the most affordable gimbal that supports moment lenses. The body design enables you to still use a counterweight to offset the weight of large phones, lenses, and filters. It's certainly seen as a more professional handwheel, bringing you never-before-seen experience of smooth operation, hence the name. By simply pressing the FN switch button, the dedicated handwheel is configured into a tight focus puller mode that changes during real-time precision. You can then zoom in or out as much as you desire, as well as focus in on close-up shots. One of our favorite components to Xeon Smooth 4 is the object tracking design. You can frame the exact object you wish to track and the stabilizer does the rest. The Smooth 4 has been a fun device to run around filming with, always giving me the smoothest footage I've ever taken on my phone. Although it had a learning curve to really get things right, it's proven itself to be a very capable device, and regardless of your current knowledge level, you'll accomplish great things with it. Number 4. Moser Air 2 – Best Battery Life The design of the Moser Air 2 is very reminiscent of any larger weight capacity single-handed gimbal that's available, hint the DJI Ronin-S. Unlike the back support arm that connects the roll and the tilt axis has been angled down so you can clearly see the back screen of your camera, it also makes it a lot easier to access the controls on your camera if need be. The company hasn't tried to redesign the wheel and they've gone with a proven design. As the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The Air 2 features eight different operational modes, including single-axis and dual-axis modes, such as pan-follow and pan-tilt-follow. These modes allow for different shooting styles that Moser calls sport gear, FPV, panorama, tracking, and inception styles. Inception, for example, allows you to rotate the camera as you push in on a subject. The Moser Air 2 is aimed at users of mirrorless and DSLR cameras who want the flexibility to be able to run heavier lenses and camera packages without straining the gimbal. While the gimbal can handle the weight of a smaller digital cinema camera, it hasn't really been designed for that purpose. Number 3. DJI OM4 – Best for Smartphones DJI is likely one of the first names that comes to mind when you think of drones, but in pro video circles, the company's line of Ronin camera stabilizers are just renowned. Smartphone content creators can enjoy the same stabilization features in a smaller, more affordable package with the DJI OM4, an updated and rebranded edition of the previous generation Osmo Mobile 3. The OM4 is a very good basic gimbal, especially if you're an iPhone user. It handles all the basics with ease, though advanced features are hit or miss, and depending on your smartphone might not be available at all. The tabletop tripod is a nice addition, but it's very basic. It's a good starter option for bloggers, low-light photographers, and those who use the hyperlapse and time-lapse features. That said, its build quality isn't great. The legs feel likely to snap if you put too much weight on the gimbal. The OM4 has a standard quarter-inch tripod thread, so you can swap it out for a sturdier set of legs if you prefer. With a new dolly zoom feature, filmmakers only now need to dolly towards or away from the subject, as the OM4 will automatically zoom the lens to adjust the FOV to achieve that smooth and classic effect. Number 2. DJI Ronin S – Best Lightweight Option The Ronin S has the lowest maximum load capacity of all three of our featured gimbals for Sony a7R 3 cameras, coming in at only 4.4 pounds. That said, we're still confident that it'll be able to support the payload of many Sony a7R 3 camera rigs, but if you do like to use heavier accessories, then the Xeon gimbal might be better. The Ronin S supports a maximum battery life of around 11 hours, and again, it does a pretty solid job of ensuring that you get those 11 hours no matter how much of its load capacity you use up with your camera rig. When the gimbal does run empty, you can recharge it back to full via a mains power outlet in only two and a half hours offering the shortest recharge time of all the featured gimbals. 
In addition to stabilization, the Ronin S will connect to a range of popular cameras and allow varying degrees of control, from video start and stop all the way up to remote focus and zoom control. With a plethora of available stabilization kits in the market, DJI has done an exceptional job of setting the Ronin S apart through clever engineering and, most importantly, height and tool sets at a similar price point to many other far simpler stabilization kits. Number 1. DJI RS2 – Best Overall There are little, if any, design similarities between the new DJI RS2 and the Ronin S. The metal arms have all been replaced by a carbon fiber monocoque design, and every other element from the joystick, mounting points, focus wheel, and grip have been improved and enhanced. The RS2 offers all the standard shooting modes you'd recognize if you have ever used a Ronin or similar gimbal, as well as a few new modes or features added in this version. A big addition is Active Track 3.0, an update to the most advanced tracking technology, and after some testing, we found it is a big upgrade from the previous generation. DJI says it uses new and more advanced algorithms to track your subject, and this is clearly accurate given how much better the system was in use. The DJI RS2 is undeniably stunning, the carbon arm set off against stylish graphics and beautifully crafted metalwork. That carbon might look great and have an incredible strength-to-weight ratio, but is it the right material for this use? Small adjustments to balance are even more difficult than the old Ronin S, even with the fine adjuster, and then there's the mess of cables once everything is connected. However, the stabilization performance is excellent and matches the style, and in use, the mounting options and weight make the RS2 incredibly effective. Buying Guide Batteries the Evo Shift has built-in batteries that aren't removable, though the Evo Shift does have a 12-hour battery life that's likely longer than your phone. The rest of the gimbals have removable, rechargeable batteries so you can swap out batteries and shoot without stop. When comparing Evo gimbals with other brands, look at battery size and capacity. Many other gimbals use smaller batteries with less juice, while Evo gimbals use larger lithium-ion batteries for longer run times. Weight if you're going to be shooting with your gimbal for more than a few minutes at a time, weight is going to be an important factor. Compare gimbal weights to make sure the one you pick isn't too heavy. Your wrist will thank you. Camera Compatibility Not every gimbal fits every camera. Take a look at the gimbal product page to make sure your camera fits. Also, if you use accessories like external battery packs or microphones, look to see if the gimbal's design will cover up any important camera ports. 2 versus 3 axis stabilization Gimbals stabilize your camera by actively powering a set of brushless motors about 2 or 3 axes of movement. 2 axis gimbals typically stabilize the tilt and roll axis, while 3 axis gimbals add stabilization to the pan axis. The advantage of a 3 axis gimbal is the added smoothness you'll get when shooting dynamic moving shots and the added benefit of multiple stabilization modes to create different style shots. Two axis gimbals are typically less expensive but are not as easy to come by nowadays simply because the benefits of three axis are that much better.